if your PC is not giving you the FPS and performance you deserve, so in this video, I will show you how to safely overclock your CPU for maximum performance and FPS without risking damage. Whether you are gamer, steamer, or just want a faster PC, so this simple CPU overclocking will give you huge performance out of your any PC. So guys, make sure to watch this whole video. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. And also make sure to share your CPU model in the comment below, and I will help you to getting the best performance out of your PC. What's related with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. So guys, in the very first step, we need to enable all the CPU cores of a CPU on our Windows. So for that, you need to press Windows R together from your keyboard and you will find out this kind of the run window. Now simply type here msconfig and hit enter. Now you need to go for this boot tab and from here go for advanced option and under there you will find out this option that is number of processor. You need to check mark on this box and enable this function. Now click on the drop down and select out the highest number available in this list. This is actually the number of thread of your CPU. So you need to select the highest number option from this list and this will guys enable all your CPU processors. Now click on this OK button. After that, hit apply, click OK. And now this will ask you for restarting your PC, but we'll restart it later. So click on the exit without restart. Now in the next step, we are going to enable the maximum performance of the CPU. And also we are going to lower the temperature of the CPU for the best performance. So for that, we need these two applications. You will find out the link in the description. Simply go there and download these files on your PC. And here is the result of the files. There is no any kind of the virus inside it. So you can use it without any kind of worry. So guys, in the very first step, here we find out the one and only power control. This is one of the best software and this is also free with almost every feature in order to get the best performance out of your CPU. So you need to go for this application, simply double tap here. Now hit yes, hit yes again, click I agree, next and install the software on your PC. And here you will find out this comes the interface of the power control. Now by default, it is right now onto the high performance and here you can check out here our CPU frequency that is right now onto 3.46 and we need to also boost it. Now the second number, here we got the number of cores running on our PC, but we need to run the all cores on our PC. So now the very first step, you need to go for this drop down and find out here the bit some highest performance power plan. But it is not available here, so guys don't worry, you will find out here this kind of the install button. So click on this button and this will guys install the bit some highest performance power plan into the power control now select here this power plan and click on to the make activate and guys once you activate it so here you can find out all 16 of 16 cores are now in the working condition after that you need to go for the sparking now from here set it onto the off and off now go for heterogeneous policy set it onto the standard parking then short thread and long thread set it onto the preferred performance processes after that go for this option check mark on this boxes now click on the apply button and after that click ok and guys close out of your power control now this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc so guys don't need to worry about anything all cpu cores are active right now now in the next step here we find out the throttle stop and this application will help us to under vaulting our cpu to reducing the thermal temperature of our cpu for the best performance so open up this aria file and from here you need to extract this exit file on your desktop so guys here is the interface of the throttle stop and now in the very first step you will find out here this plan that is the performance one then game internet and then that is for the battery but guys you need to set it onto the game after that here you will find out this performance plan but we have already adjusted the bit high performance power plan in our power control simply leave it on your pc now after that you need to find out here this next option that is the speed shift epp this is by default onto the 128 but you need to check mark on this box and set it onto the zero for the highest performance so once you are done now you need to go for this right side and here you will find this option that is the tpl so go for it and from here you need to uncheck this box that is the pro short offset make sure to guys disable the settings hit apply and click ok after doing it you need to click on this turn on button and turn on these features and click on the save button after that now close out of it so guys now the next step we are going to disable our cpu power throttling that is also guys increase the temperature of your cpu so therefore we need to disable that feature 
So for that, you need to press Windows R together from your keyboard and this window will pop on your screen. Now simply type here GP edit dot MSE and hit OK. Now go for computer configuration, administrative template, system. Now scroll down and find our power management option. So here we got it. Go for this folder and here is our power throttling setting. So guys, go for it. Go for turn off power throttling. And now from here, you need to enable this option for turning off the power throttling on your Windows. After that, hit apply, click OK and save the settings on your PC and close out of this local group policy editor. Now in the final and the last step, we are going to disable all the useless background app and services on our PC. So for that, you need to go for your taskbar, right click here and open up task manager. Now in the very first step, you need to go for the startup apps and from here, you need to disable all the application that you are not using on your PCs. Now here is my mobile device applications I am not using, so you need to disable it. Next, here we find out MS Edge, go for it and disable it. Now next, here we find out this OneDrive, go for it and disable it. Now like this, disable all the application that you are not using. Now next, go for the service option and now from here, you need to disable all the useless Windows services. So in the very first step, select any service from here. Now press W from your keyboard and find out this valid service. So guys, go for it and disable the service on your PC. I have already stopped it. Now next, you need to scroll all the way down and here you will find out these Xbox services. So guys, also disable or stop these services on your PC. Now the last service that you need to disable, for that you need to press S from your keyboard and find out sysmin service. So guys, scroll down and find out the sysmin service. This is guys using a lot of your memory resources and your CPU resources. So therefore it is important to guys disable it on your PC. Some people can have problem by disabling it. So therefore you can do the testing on your own. Like simply guys go for it and stop it and disable the service on your PC. So guys that's it for this video. I hope so you love it. Now simply one time restart your PC therefore all the changes properly take effect. Then launch your PC and enjoy the best performance out of it. I hope so you love it. Please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below. And I will see you in the next video.